When a motorbike enters a corner, friction generates a turning or centripetal force at the point where the tires contact the ground. That force generates a torque around the bike's center of gravity, which tips the bike out of the curve as you move forward. To stop the bike tipping over, you need to lean into the curve. When you do this, your center of gravity is inside the turn. This generates a falling in torque on the bike equal to the tipping out torque provided by the centripetal force. Given your speed and tightness of turn, there is a naturally stable angle of lean. If you are not leaning in enough for your cornering speed, the centripetal force will overcome gravity and will throw the bike out of the turn. Another concept we need to introduce is momentum. A rolling wheel has both forward and angular momentum, which means it will try to keep rolling at its current speed and angle of lean unless forced to change. This is what keeps a moving bike upright. Now let's combine those effects. When you roll a wheel, the gyroscopic effect and forward momentum stabilizes the angle of lean and the wheel follows a natural curve. This natural curve is the one which balances the centripetal and gravitational torque for the speed at which the wheel is rolling. This force balance is what you achieve when you turn your bike. But how does this relate to counter steering? Take this situation. You need to turn left quickly. At speed, your momentum is large, making the bike very stable in its upright position. If you just lean into the curve, the bike will respond too slowly. But even more serious to your health, remember our first demonstration. If you turn into a corner without leaning over enough, the bike will actually throw you out of the curve. So how do we use the bike's natural behavior to achieve the turn we need? To enter a left-hand turn from a straight vertical position, push out on the left-hand grip. This sets up the wheels for a right-hand turn, but as you are in a vertical position, the right-hand turn is unstable. The centripetal force where the tire meets the road causes the bike to tip out from the right-hand curve as you move forward. So now you are leaning left. This lean is what you need to set the bike up for a left-hand corner. By releasing pressure on the left-hand grip, the bike is released from its unstable right-hand turn. The bike will now assume a naturally stable left-hand turn determined by your speed and angle of lean. So by understanding a little physics, we learn it sometimes makes sense to act counterintuitively. And that could be a handy thing when you need to get yourself out of trouble quickly.